Let's investigate how activities relate to the application context. An Android app is a collection of collaborating activities. It's common for one activity to start another activity from the same APK. This is part of the normal workflow of an app. Can you think of any examples of activities starting other activities from the same app? Think of the standard Android apps like contacts, email, music, etc. One example would be all contacts to start contact details and contact details to start edit contact. You need a few different Android types to start an activity. You don't start an activity directly, it's something Android does for you in response to your request. First, package your request inside an intent object. Next, use a method from the context class to send the intent to Android. Then, Android looks inside the intent object and uses the information there to determine which activity to start for you. Context is an access point to the Android environment running your app. It represents the Android runtime environment surrounding your activity. Context provides a collection of services to your activity. These services can be partitioned into a few categories. OS services, for example, is the access point for system services like starting an activity, accessing network connections, displaying notifications, determining GPS locations, etc. Next, we have info about your app. Info about your app can house the process name, app description, default theme, minimum SDK version supported, etc. Resources and assets give you access to the files packaged inside your APK. Resources are non-code files like images, layouts, strings, etc. Because files in these categories are so common, Android provides convenient access. For example, it's easy to load an image resource into an image view. Assets are also non-code files, but their content is completely up to you. Think of assets as raw files where Android has no knowledge of their meaning. Therefore, you only get low-level access to them rather than the high-level convenience of resources. Lastly, we have runtime file system locations. Runtime file system locations are for things like your installed package, a place to store database files, a place to store temporary cached files, etc. The activity class inherits from context. This ensures each activity has access to the environment for loading resources and interacting with Android. As a result, every one of your activities has all the context services available. There are two classes in the hierarchy that provide only a few extra services, all of which are outside the scope of this discussion. First, we have Context Wrapper. The docs for Context Wrapper say proxying implementation of context that simply delegates all of its calls to another context. Next, we have Context Theme Wrapper. The docs for Context Theme Wrapper say a context wrapper that allows you to modify the theme from what is in the wrapped context.